Hello everyone, my name is Jason Parker. Welcome back to this channel about magic. Except not this time. That's right, I'm reacting again to Chris Clafford. He has made it onto the judges' cuts of America's Got Talent, and now he's gonna be performing a new song. And I know you're probably thinking, why am I, a magician, reacting to a musician? Well, if you click this link up here, you can see my reaction to his first performance, in which I think I explain my reason pretty well. So I don't wanna repeat myself. Let's just go ahead and get on with this reaction. Like this is Judge Cuts, man. I mean, literally, you yeah. are one step away from being at the live shows. Yeah, it's it's so surreal. I can't I can't even take it in. I know that I don't look like a typical singer. Sometimes when I went to a gig, people just looked at me, thinking like, "Oh, who is this?" And they, I, I don't think they think much of me. Imagine there's no heaven. Being here in America's Got Talent, it feels like the ultimate validation for me. It's dream. Four yeses. I feel a little bit of pressure to like step it up a notch from from my first edition. This guy is awesome. <sighs> Man, I can't really describe how much I want to be one of those seven. Hello. You know, it's funny, I just want to say real quick, I went ahead online and played the original John Lennon Imagine song, and I have to say that as amazing as the Beatles and John Lennon were, I actually prefer this new version more. And that's really saying something because I love the original song. But after I've heard Chris Clafford's version, it's kind of hard to go back to the original. Anyway, let's see what he's got. Nice, nice to meet you. So you're from, is it Lindsberg, Sweden? Is that how you say it? Lind Lindsberg. I was close. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. What song are you gonna do? I was thinking about doing an original song. All right. Because they're either hate it or they love it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the risk you take with your originals. Thank One you. risk at a time for me. It's called uh, Something Like Me. What's it about? <laughs> <laughs> it's about Simon. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly about people judging me of, of them because of my appearance. You, you, want, you want to fit the mold, so it's about that. Great. Frustrated while I'm waiting on a miracle I know the world is full of different kind of people I know I'm strong Walking down the street and I feel so invisible You're talking to me like I'm not sure we equal I know I'm strong Feel like I could break out Damn it, Chris Clafford, you did it again. You always get me. It's truly inspiring to hear you sing. Um, this is one of those moments, I haven't had the moments you've had through the years, Simon, discovering people, but you're something else. You don't know what you got, what you got in at your fingertips. I think you stepped it up from your first audition because I think when you throw your songwriting abilities on top of that, you're taking a gamble. That gamble paid off. The only question we have, is there room for you in the live show, and that's based on everybody's talent tonight, but uh, we will deliberate. I think definitely. With the mold, I like this mold. 
Stay who you are. Thank you. I watched your first audition back and I wasn't that excited as I thought I was. Really? So I was concerned if you came back and did a cover. I've seen and heard that too many times in my life. The song actually enabled us to learn more about you, who you are. It wasn't a risk. A risk would have been not doing that. You've made our jobs a little bit harder now because it was that good. Thank you so much. I did too. It's natural talent too. An original, you stepped it up. I'm just so glad that it went well, and I feel and I feel good about the performance. So let me give you my closing thoughts on that. I think it's great that even Brad Paisley, you know, who's an accomplished singer, was saying like that's like raw talent. It's nice to get some powerful praise like that from the experts. And I actually really liked this song. I thought immediately after like. 10 or 15 seconds of hearing the song, I already felt like it was catchy, so I thought it was written well. And then his singing, his beautiful voice, just uh, maybe he can make anything sound good, I don't know. Again, I feel like we're definitely gonna see him get through to the finals. Oh, and by the way, he did make it through the judge cuts. He's made it through to the live show. I don't know if that's the same as the finals. Maybe it is. Maybe he did make it to the finals. Success! Anyway, listening to the lyrics of the song, uh, Someone Like Me, it sounds like he's summoning the courage. He's telling himself that he's strong and he wants to break out and become someone like himself instead of trying to become someone else, which I think is really cool and kind of a motivational message. With that being said, go ahead and leave your comment below. Let me know what you thought about his original song and his performance of it. Do you feel like he's in danger of not making it to the finals. I feel like he's just such a superstar, he's gonna go almost all the way, if not all the way. Although, he might be competing against Eric Chin, and then it would be a really difficult decision. Probably, I would vote for the magician myself, but I would like to think I can be unbiased. Let me know what you thought about this experimental video where I'm reacting to non-magician stuff. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I like to try new things. Anyway, that's all for this video. Make sure to smash, like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you next time. Yep.